The boat you see behind me is Arcadia Yachts Sherpa XL. It's the like of which you will have never seen before. I certainly haven't. It's an incredible machine. So come on board with this. It's actually a 24 meter boat, so it's just under 80 feet long, but I've never seen an 80 foot boat with a layout like this. It's quite incredible. Let me show you on board. So I'm going to take you on board and we're going to do a pretty full tour. I'll explain that pretty in a minute. But um, yeah, you're going to need to see this because I promise you, you haven't seen a layout like this before. I certainly haven't. So we're going to step on. Now, what they've done with this boat is they've really majored on outdoor living space with this massive area out the back. You've got sun pads here. Everyone's all on one level. And what's great is they put the dining area out here as well. So when you're out in the med or other hot climbs, then this area here is a great place it's completely open along the sides obviously we're in a boat show at the minute so you would only have a great big banner there so look on this side you can get a better idea how nice is that but we're going to go inside first of all because i mentioned the layout on this is something special and it really is as we come in through these doors it's split level you can see the stairs down and the stairs up and we're going to go up first of all into this area now what we pass on our starboard side is a day heads so drawn a day people can just pop into there they don't have to go down into the cabins to use the loo but that then is the interior day space and you'll notice this rather interesting roof that's because this is all solar panels all the way across the roof section and that powers most of the electrics of the boat when you're at anchor without needing to run a generator that's pretty impressive as we go around here the galley is in this corner at the back with your uh, Bosch cooking and then big fridge freezers and that kind of thing. That is such a nice area, isn't it? And then at the front here is the helm. Look at the wheel on this thing. That's amazing. And these beautiful seats, very minimalist. And uh, obviously it's all glass bridges you come to expect these days, but look how close to the front of the boat we are. You really drive this boat right at the front. So tremendous view out. And there's a side access door so you can get straight out onto the decks there. We'll go around and have a look around the decks, of course, but also at this end of the boat is the crew area. So if we head down here. You've got two beds. And there's a lot of storage in over on this side. And then that is the toilet compartment and shower for this area. Good, okay. Now that is this deck, but I mentioned that there are two stairways. So let's go and take a look on the other one because I think you'll be impressed with that, but we'll just pause for a minute because, well, look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? Right, let's go back through here. Now there are steps up here. I think what we'll do is we'll head up here first and then we'll come all the way back down and look at the lower deck. I think that's probably the way to do it. It's such an unusual layout. I haven't really mapped out a perfect way around. But this then is like an upper terrace. Probably the best way to describe it. And there you can see those solar panels across the roof of that section of the boat. But that's a lovely little area up on this deck, nice and high up, great views. Let's have a wander around this side of it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. It's a very casual area. Imagine coming up here of an evening for a drink and a chat as the sun goes down. Perfect. Okay, so let's head on back down. And as I say, I will show you that lower deck. So this takes us back to that main saloon area. And then we'll loop around this way. This is back out then to that aft deck of the dining area. But if we go around again, this is the split area, as I mentioned when we came in, we can go up or down, and then this takes you down to the accommodation. And this is impressive. So let's head forward first of all. Now, when I first looked at this boat, I walked into this cabin and I went, hmm, nice master cabin, which is an easy mistake to make, but would you believe this is actually the VIP guest cabin? That is a great size, isn't it? And it has the ensuite over here, of course. Now the door is open at the minute, but there is a sliding door. You can just see it here. So this slides across, of course, for privacy. And that then gives you your area here. And the shower is in here. Look at where they've illuminated the rainfall shower. <laughs> That's brilliant, isn't it? 
the seat in there as well that's very nice and then on the other side then is the, is the toilet good let's head on back and look at some of the other cabins so if we head back down through here we will find over on this side so in here you've got another guest cabin very good headroom in here beautifully finished as you can see with this lovely wood and the big windows and then in behind here is the ensuite so that has a separate shower area and a toilet and so on and that's the doorway to it just there and that cabin is then matched on the other side of the boat like so And that again, ensuite as you'd expect. So, door here, door compartment is there, and then shower is in that one. Okay, let's go back and have a look at that main cabin. And if we head down here, then this is the actual master cabin. Look at that. That's an incredible size, isn't it? Nice little seating area here as you come in, freestanding furniture. That's dramatic. And again, you've got your heads over to one side, your ensuite. And on this one, they've kept it open, but then put doors. So there's a frosted door here. That takes you in. There's a bidet there. And also just behind is the loo. This then is open with your twin sinks. And then on this side is the separate shower. Again, with one of those illuminated rainfalls. But what a cabin that is. Okay. Okay, so if we come back out of here, we'll have a twirl of the decks. So let's go around this side. And again, look how spacious this is up through here. And you feel completely enclosed as you walk up through here. It feels such a safe area to walk around. And then we'll come up here. This is the side access door from the helm. So you can see that it's back in through there. And then we come right around to the front. Look how high, there's no rails on here because the sides are just so incredibly high. That is hip height. And there's a seat right at the front so you can sit here and cruise along the coast. But what an interesting boat that is. I think that's amazing. What I'm gonna do is actually finish here because they've asked me not to film the engine room. I have had a quick look in and it is absolutely fine, but for some reason they don't want me to, and that's fine. It's their boat, it's their prerogative. But I will tell you, just check my notes. She's got a pair of Volvo IPS 1350 engines that are about a thousand horsepower each. They give the boat a top speed of 23 knots. She can cruise at 20, but actually she's designed to cruise at lower speeds. You cruise at sort of 12, 14 knots, you get about a thousand miles of range that way. If you drop it down to 10, you'll get 1400. So you can do some serious distances in this boat. But I think it's an exceptional boat. It's a layout I've never seen before. It's great to see someone doing something completely different and it's been a really interesting one to look on board and I hope you've enjoyed that tour. If you have, do give the thumbs up a click and let me know what you think in the comments as well. I'd be very interested to see what you think of this one. And, uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell, hit the subscribe button. We've got loads more stuff coming from here at the Dossal Boat Show. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.